so today I'm going to teach you how to make some textured paint so that we can quote unquote ice our cakes. We're going to use baking soda, we're going to use school glue, and temper paint. Any color. You can decide what three colors you want your paint to be. You're going to have three containers and a spoon for measuring. We're going to put two heaping spoonfuls. Heaping means like they're kind of almost overflowing. Two big spoonfuls in each cup of the baking soda. Okay, now we're going to do about a dime size measurement of school glue in the bottom of our spoon. So just get it close just don't make don't make it the whole spoonful just a little bit will do you're going to scrape that off with either a paintbrush or a craft stick whatever is available there at your table um and you're going to do that in each cup each one is going to get a dime size dollop of glue Now you're going to put a whole spoonful of paint, whichever color temper paint you want, you're going to put that in your cup. Now I only have white temper paint here at my home studio, so I'm using some craft paint that I have, but I'm going to put a whole spoonful in each cup and then I'm going to use my craft stick and I'm going to mix those around and get them to the consistency of icing. Everybody knows how thick icing is, right? So you're going to mix that until you get it that thick. It's not going to be runny and it's not going to be clumpy. So it's going to be smooth and you're going to be able to like spread it like peanut butter. Um, if your um, icing is still too dry, it's kind of clumpy, it's not mixing well, you're gonna use the spray bottles that are at your desk and you're going to spray a few squirts of water. You don't need a lot of water, just give it a couple of squirts. You can always add more water, but you can't take it out. And you can't add more um, baking soda either because I only have a limited amount and I have to get all of fourth grade their ice, their cakes iced. So we're gonna have to be conservative. Once you have your colors, you can take that back to your desk and you're gonna use the palette knife and you're gonna spread that just like icing over your cake. Now, if you were smart and you chose two primary colors that would mix to make a secondary color, then you would actually wind up with four colors, not three. So that's gonna be a completely up to you. But again, if it's too clumpy or it's not really mixing well, you're gonna add just a little bit of water and you're gonna keep going, but don't add any more paint don't add any more baking soda if you're struggling come holler at me and i will help you Now one option that you can do, and this is completely up to you, you do not have to do this, is you can use one of the sandwich bags out of the box on the mixing table. I'm gonna turn the top of it, I'm gonna open it and kind of flip that top down. That's gonna help keep it open. Then I'm gonna scoop out one color, doesn't matter which color you decide, just scoop out a color from your cup and 
push it down into the corner of that bag. Then you're going to take that baggie, you're gonna twist it a little bit and squish it down into that corner. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna just barely clip off the corner of that. You're gonna twist it and then you'll squeeze it in your hand so that you can like draw lines on your cake. And you could ice it that way if you wanted to draw lines. If you wanted to make like little roses, um, you're gonna have to just get creative because I don't have uh, piping tips for everybody to use. So you could just make little swirls or any of the lines that you already know, zigzags, um, bumpy. You could make a spiral. You could just make little dots if you wanted to. Um, if you need more, you can always go back and mix more, but don't mix too much. Because again, the whole of fourth grade has got to do this project. Okay, when you're done, you're gonna stack all your cups, throw them in the trash, throw your spoon in the trash, throw your baggie in the trash. The only thing that you're gonna keep is gonna be that palette knife. You're gonna make sure that you rinse that off and put it back on the table where you got it from. Now after you've cleaned up and you're ready to put your cake in the drying rack, you're gonna have to be super careful because you don't wanna touch all of your icing because it hasn't dried yet. It's gonna dry hard. And, and crusty so you want maybe a friend to help you hold the rack above the shelf that you're gonna put your drawing in and then that way you're not messing up your painting by bumping it against the shelf above so get some help put it in carefully clean up after yourself <laughs> 